Do you want to see an amazing new way to draw attention to content in SharePoint with the new editorial card web part? If so, then stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that edit button like we always do right about this time because you can't make changes if you're not in edit mode. We're gonna pop off a new section here. We're gonna go in here and add a new web part. We're gonna find that editorial card and we're gonna be like, oh, category name, be like, oh my gosh. And we're gonna be like, new stuff coming soon. And then we're gonna be like, I can't believe it. And then you're going to learn more. You click here, but you don't see anything. Now you got to go to settings or edit the properties. We're going to go down here into the URL for the button. We're going to smackety smack that in there. And then we're going to hit republish. And then ba bam, you just did it. You got a little linky link. You click on it. And boom, you are in business. Okay. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You got this awesome editorial card. It's a way to highlight your content and be able to push people to whatever URL you want to direct them to. So let's break it down a little bit. And before we do that, please like, share, subscribe. We appreciate you. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers and everything that you do with the watching and the comments really helps grow the channel. Thank you in advance. All right, so let's break it down. And we're gonna go in here and let's just examine maybe, here's another example that is uh, already been done up for you here. So we can go in and we're going to edit this one to take a look at all the different ways we can tweak this puppy. Um, and while I'm doing this in the comments, let me know what you are going to use this for. Uh, all right, so we got the little deal here. Uh, if you want to just, you know, click in right here, you got this field here. Um, this is where you put section name or category name. So these are just customizable um and we'll show you all the different ways that you can make changes so we'll say um new music and then we click in here now with this part this is like the main eye catcher and you can adjust this you can change the sizing um you can change whether it is a you know one of these headings or pull quotes or monospace. I mean, you can just go nuts and just do all sorts of cool things. Whatever you like, you just do here. Um, it will adjust and flex, blah, 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 bold. So, you know, you got your full formatting stack here. You can just format to your heart's content. And then we go in here and we got another layer, another text area, again, smaller still customizable so this is normal you can tell like so the way this is default is like this is the big thing you know this is like the subheading um, maybe this could be like the topic and then you got your action okay so let's just dig in a little bit deeper to each section so you click on edit properties here and don't get it mixed up with the section properties all right different set of properties here we go edit properties and let's take a look at the layout let's just uh collapse this stuff here so we can see everything so we got uh, layout background content accessibility so let's go to layout we got you know three different styles three different layout options so we have the image overlay we got color block um we've got split you could play around with that uh i think this would be a little bit better if there was no image there i do believe we'll see um we'll come back to this one all right so though your those are your layout options now we've got background so what's going on in the background here see we have an image but if we change it to one of these deals i feel like the color block is gonna is gonna do something now well yeah wow it's fantastic that's amazing well there you go yeah th there might be more to come on on that whole color block ple uh, piece of the thing so um let's go back to now we're image overlay now we got to find another image uh we're just gonna go we'll just play with content alignment we we know that we can have an image back there you get you get the idea um sorry if this hurts your eyes all right so content alignment uh there we go left we were in center there's a line right and you can play with how you want to align the text top to bottom um so this is top this is middle this is bottom this is distribute vertically okay Fun times, fun times. We're going to go back to center. 
align top nope align middle all right we play with the background yeah you can do an image like we saw before um and now we're into the content area here call to action how do you want this link to work uh you could say i want a button in that case you can smack a link there and you can name the button however you want to name it but maybe you want just an icon there's your arrow icon or maybe you know you say you know what, i want text so now the text will be clickable or if you say i want the entire card then it's not going to say anything under here and when you click anywhere on the card it is going to bounce you to that url okay so there you go hopefully this helps you see what you can do with this new editorial card i want to know how you're using it let us know in the contents until then remember do the very best you can with what you got sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time i'm a sharepoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because i gotta use them forward yeah i'm a big old nerd i like maple syrup all my pancakes i don't care what you heard